Hello, it's Riyadh and welcome back to the IT or Internal Medicine Board Review Cardiology and the topic now, antiplatelet medication and surgery. Really this topic is really, I'm always have problem with understanding how, when we can stop aspirin, when we can stop Plavix, when we can hold aspirin, when we can stop, when we can postpone the surgery. So that's why, you know, I decided to put it in a way, in a curve way. So guys, again, look at the curve. You will see the x-axis is the bleeding curve. So the x-axis is the bleeding. And you know, for any curve, when you go far from the curve, so basically you will get more and more and more. That's why the bleeding will be major here, intermediate in the, big, in the center, and minor in the beginning. And the y-axis basically represents thrombosis here, represents thrombosis. So usually you have high thrombosis, which is basically less than six months, a duration between DES stent and surgery, or you have moderate risk of thrombosis, which is basically more than six months, right? Here I'm talking about DES stent replacement. So after six months after stent replacement, you have moderate risk of thrombosis, Less than six months, you have high risk of a thrombosis. So this is the deal. The problem is you have, you know, you have to make a balance between thrombosis and the bleeding, and decide which one. I mean, and then play through this. I mean, work through this. Either bleeding or thrombosis decrease bleeding. You need to decrease bleeding and you need to decrease thrombosis at the same time, right? Now, how we can how you can study this kind of 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 care? Uh, so basically, let's assume the patient is in minor surgery. So basically, the patient either in F or E, right? Minor surgery, so you are either in F or E. Now look at the thrombosis risk. Whether it is high thrombosis risk or low thrombosis risk, in each case, in wherever the situation, continue aspirin. That's why you will see aspirin stay here, right? And minus, or maybe you can. You, you can still continue Plavix, or maybe you can stop Plavix after six months. You don't need Plavix, maybe, right? So this is usually the guideline say. If it is minor surgery, so you are working within this limit, right? Within this limit. This is first. Second, aspirin continue. Third, Plavix either continue or DC. If it is more than six months, you don't need it. Still using aspirin if you are an intermediate. Intermediate surgery, which is usually GI surgery, bronchoscopy, or endoscopy, still using aspirin. So now let's make it much easier, right? Well, how, how, how it is much easier? Now you can stay using aspirin, whether it is intermediate or moderate surgery, or sorry, intermediate or low risk of bleeding, except in high risk of bleeding, you have a choice to stop aspirin. Except. This is the only one. So in this case, you will know. You will, you will know from the answers, it just keeps on aspirin if it is minor or moderate, uh, intermediate, sorry. Stop aspirin if it is major. Now, how about the plavix? We talked about the minor. Intermediate and above is stop a plavix, right? Intermediate and above is stop a plavix, but keeps into your mind if you don't have an option to postpone surgery. If it is less than six months, go back again with the y-axis and x-axis. If it is less than six months, postpone the surgery. If it is less than six months. If you cannot, what are you going to do? Stop aspirin? Stop plavix? Heparin. You need substitution. Heparin. But if you can't postpone, postpone it. If you can't postpone, postpone the surgery. How about for major unmoderated bleeding? Almost the same. Uh, sorry, major and moderate thrombosis, almost the same. Stop heparin. There is no postponing here because it's already postponed. Stop heparin. Stop heparin. So now again, let, how, how we can make it. For all the cases, uh, keeps on aspirin. The only time that you will stop aspirin when you have major bleeding risk, which is usually neurosurgery when we talked about major bleeding risk. Now, how about the plavix or clavidocral? You can stay in the, if it is minor, stop if it is intermediate or major risk. That's it. That's it. Okay. I hope this is helpful to rise it and recall it. Thank you.